Hi everybody, it's Montana Ergana here and uh, I want to share my experiences on the Hudson Flash uh, QE in 22 caliber and uh, I've had this for about a half a year now I shot around 3000 rounds on it and uh, I have been very very impressed with the with the quality and consistency for a $300 gun and uh, yeah let's go over a few findings that I had had on this this gun and my experiences and my opinions on it and uh, I have to say first that this is fully stock I haven't uh, modified it changed any of the internals uh, added anything it's just how it came from the factory and uh, we're gonna go over some uh, shooting material with it and my idea is to have just uh, mount this one straight to the barrel and not, not to the uh, moderator or on the QE system how it is now it is very accurate and very good that way too but I just wanna try out something different and uh, it's very easy it just comes out when you twist it and pull it off the shroud comes off with that way and then you can mount the mount the moderator on, on onto the barrel straight and yeah let's go over the uh, setup that I have here so uh, the gun is fully stock otherwise we got the Hawk Vantage uh, 4 to 12 by 44 scope here it's a very inexpensive scope it's hundred and twenty dollars it's you know not that much money and uh, then we got the UTG Leapers uh, high scope mounts and uh, then I got the you know Donny FL Tatsu moderator on here it tightens up the group groups a little bit it's uh, very nice quiets the gun a lot like significantly compared to non-moderated I don't have any uh, decibel meter or anything but it's, it's clearly like visible on the video if you if you want to hear hear the sound on it which is like non-existent and uh, yeah then on the front I have a just normal UTG small bipod those 29 bucks or something very inexpensive uh, maybe in the future I'll have something else it's so just fine but maybe uh, something more robust would be better to replace it and yeah let's go over my thoughts on the gun and on the air gun and how it how it is has been behaving and how's it shooting and what else I have been noticing on it <clears throat> so the biggest thing really with this one is uh, it's a uh, synthetic model so it has the synthetic stock it's now a wooden one so I skipped out on 50 bucks oh there's some hammering going bathroom right now but I skimped out on the 50 bucks and uh, yeah I decided to go for the cheaper route and it's maybe not as rigid as the wooden one but I would still say it's quite good and firm uh, doesn't bend or flex as much what I feared really but uh, yeah it's been it's been behaving quite nicely it actually shoulders quite well if you're like going out and you know hunting or something I, I think this has a really good center point of balance just uh, just on this point I have the bipod now but uh, I would say it's very easy to shoulder. It's it has been uh, very good on the bench rest. I like to shoot bench rest, bench rest uh, all the time. I took it out a few times, but uh, yeah, it's it's mainly as a bench rest gun for me. And uh, in the future, I will be uh, trying out a couple of uh, front rests and those kind of things to show you guys out how they interact with this one and yeah the functions when I when I got the gun the air gun I have to say this uh, safety 
was extremely <laughs> uh, tight. Like it didn't go like this at all. You would have to like force it forward and force it backward. Uh, after a little time of use, it's no problem. It goes very smoothly now. A little bit of play, but you know, it loosens up really nicely. Uh, same thing with the uh, bolt action. Uh, when I got it, it was very hard to cock, and uh, but it loosened up really, really uh, within a few hundred rounds. Like started to behave really nicely and uh, yeah I'll put this back on safety and one thing if you want to decock the gun it's really easy you just uh, pull it backwards and put it into fire and then you hold your thumb like that press the uh, press the uh, action the trigger and uh, you just hold that it doesn't like let the hammer go and it stops it into your like thumb and then it's just uh, decocked. It's really nice. And what else? Uh, there has been no air leaks or anything. I haven't experienced any problems with it. It has been very solid. Uh, I haven't actually like cleaned it at all. So that's actually on the things to do list and uh, yeah in the future I will be I will be uh, doing a little work on this but let's talk about that later on uh, how it shoots it shoots very well very accurate and consistent uh, I had a pocket chronograph you can see here it's an FX pocket chrono maybe I'll link the uh, exact uh, product that I used down below and uh, then uh, what comes to accuracy I found with my own research that there's two two brands of pellets that perform very well on this uh, gun's barrel and uh, the first one is the JSB you can see here it's the exact exact jumbo heavy Diabolo pellet uh, very tight groups, very consistent. They have very tight tolerances on the manufacturing for the pellets. Uh, then another one uh, was recommended to me by uh, by fellow air gunners, and uh, it was the FX uh, pellet. Uh, they perform very well too because I think they come from the same factory as the JSBs. I'm not totally sure about it, but that's the rumor what I heard and they perform extremely well on this barrel that comes as a stock on the gun and uh, yeah it's it's a uh, it's a very very good good gun shooting pellets and it's also a very good gun shooting hybrids and maybe on another video we'll go more in detail detail with the accuracy of with the with the actual slugs and hybrid pellets which are FX hybrids and then I have the JSB knockout slugs and I know that the earlier models didn't come with this uh, magazine that was ready in the middle they had some manufacturing problems in the very first models of this gun but this uh, gun that I bought in 2020 uh, had these uh, magazines already which are red and they have tighter tolerances and it's a uh, better manufactured material and they haven't had any kind of problems with me like loading them and like using them no hiccups no nothing and uh, yeah I've been very happy the gun comes with two of those magazines but I bought an extra one just because I want to shoot more and yeah I've been very happy with it and uh, here is just uh, I will show a one one uh, shot group that I shot just yesterday. It it was very nice in good weather, and uh, maybe I'll show a video of it. And the idea would 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 be to that uh, on the on the video I'll shoot with the with the moderator uh, straight on the barrel.
and yeah here are some uh, shot groups that I got in the past with this one and yeah it's very accurate and uh, that's out of a hundred yards and what else yeah I think that's it see you next time